We're going to take a look at some of the Mark's wind-up motors and some of the various features they had. This is the earliest one that I happen to have. It came with this little cast iron joy line piece. Pretty normal. This is your start and stop lever. Unusual to Mark's. Mark's usually either has a screw-in key or a slide-in key. And this one's got a uh, male shaft right here. And it has a bell. And it won't show in this picture or video, but down inside is a little springy bar that the gears uh, hit the little bar, which makes it flap, which makes it hit the bell. So you get a bell sound as it goes around. And this would be the next one in line. Uh, this is another joy line piece. Now the brake lever on this one is a little different than the other one. It just slides back and forth, sticks out of the top. But for its era, this now has the more common screw-in key, uh, at least in the pre-war era. They usually had a screw-in key. And here's the side rods attached to the rear wheel. Now, what I'm going to be showing you in this little series will be all from steam engines. I won't show you any other ones from the diesels at the moment. but anyway this little lever here through all the gears running spins this wheel which has is a grinding stone and that grinding stone hits that lever that was you saw up above it and sorry I dropped it so I had to dip down and attached to that lever slip this in here that little red thing there is actually a uh, cigarette lighter flint. And you'll see in the, some of the videos later that this thing sparks as it runs around the track. This will be one of the first generations of motors that came out when the company was and everything was under the control of Marks. Uh, this particular motor would have gone in this green Commodore Vanderbilt. A couple of differences over the earlier Joyline motor. It's got the uh, it's got the little lever, with the grinding wheel, and the flint for sparking. It's got a uh, down in here you can just barely see it, but it does have a bell that would work similar to the to the other one. Uh, the mounting is a little bit different. You have this cross member that supports the side rods and that cross member would screw get screwed in right here but the, on this particular motor if you notice you got a space between the wheel and the frame here but on this one here you got this round thing behind the wheel and that's actually a a cup if you will and the best way to describe it would be like a brake shoe and what it's got is inside there, there's two little levers that are spring-loaded, and as the motor picks up speed, those levers spin at uh, centrifugal force, throws them out, and they rub against the outside of the brake shoe. So it acts kind of like a brake. It's, it's the governor system to keep it from running out of control. And to be honest with you, it doesn't work very well at all, because this thing just flat flies. All right? But anyway, that's... Um, it's also got die cast wheels on it instead of the stamped steel. Now, this motor is uh, a little bit different than the last one we looked at. If you were, didn't really mention it on the last one, but the brake lever comes out of the top of the motor like this, which would stick out through the slot in the cab of, of the boiler like that except this one here if I come around this way it's angled to off to the side so here and the reason for that is so you can grab a hold of it because instead of just pulling it back and forth to start and stop this one goes up and down in three notches that one would be in the lock position that one's go but that's go forward. 
that is go backwards. So it's kind of unusual in that it has a reverse. Um, they're not rare, but they're not one of the more common pieces out there. Um, this has got right here, it's got the bell, similar to the other motors. But what this one also has that now has started to change is inside here is a spring-loaded shoe. And now the governor has moved within the walls of the engine housing and they'll remain like this now probably pretty much through the rest of Mark's production.